trombone like info, what does that mean? Where's the problem? Inner fascial adhesions and joint capsule. What about the abduction? This is a bone on bone. Oh, wait, I want you to see this with the scapula. This is a classical adhesive capsular situation. This is where you, you will get rid of the skeptic's opinions on what happens. When he abducts, what happens is the scapula is upward rotating like that. But if I keep the scapula so it can't upward rotate and he abducts, he's stuck at 35 degrees. What, I, what intrigues me about, about some rehab specialists that go, oh, if we stretch your lower trapezius and your rhomboids, we just increase your range of motion. No, we didn't. We just We're using over the, the cartilaginous articulation of the humerus to massage the cartilage, and that's going to soften the inner fascial adhesion, and that's called adhesive capsulitis. So that's inside the capsule. So cool. I love that. got so much better. Isn't it great? But you're going to check it in both directions, and this young man happens to be have adhesive capsulitis or at least an inner fascial adhesion in both directions. It's not that common to find an internal fascia. And it started upward rotated 90 degrees like it's supposed to now. Yeah. So now we have a functional scapular abduction of 190 degrees and we have better tissue stretch and feel so he can start stretching his pecs and his subscap. So, yeah. Okay, and bring it all the way back down. Okay, now tell me how it feels that you can do that. It feels absolutely wonderful. <laughs> and how long did it take? Well, that took probably all of 20 minutes of really active, hands-on work. And it was absolutely amazing. My, my whole shoulder is free. I can move it. I can get behind. I can pull behind my head.